The lawsuits over what's thought to be a hundred million dollar estate are in the headlines because of Conchita, this chihuahua belonging to late heiress Gail Posner, one of the world's most pampered pooches. Much of that estate was left to employees and charities, but Posner's son, Brett Carr, is suing over what he claims is a conspiracy to deprive him of his inheritance. One bone of contention, three million left in a trust to take care of three animals. He, he is outraged. He feels he's been totally taken advantage of, totally abused. Outside the Miami-Dade courthouse, it wasn't hard to find opinions. You know, regardless of what kind of relationship the mother had with her son, the money should go to, you know, a family relative or somebody like that, you know, not a dog. You know, what is a dog going to do with the money? Because now you're going to have attorneys duking it out over who gets the money, the dog or the son. And, and it is going to be one of those emotional things where logic would dictate that the son would get the inheritance and the, maybe a small sum of money towards the care of the animal, but not the entire estate left in the name of an animal. And I feel bad for the attorney that has to argue on behalf of the dog. Of course, a dispute over Conchita the Chihuahua raises an interesting legal question. Is it legal to actually leave your estate to an animal? Well, it depends on what state you're in. And in Florida, the answer is a qualified yes. Florida has a statute that specifically authorizes uh, trust for the care of uh, pets. Uh, it's one of the minority of states that has that. Expert Frank Adams says Posner's will appears carefully drafted since the money also goes to maintaining this exclusive mansion on Miami Beach where the dogs now live. So the fight likely won't be over the dog provisions. The pet trust is really, uh, uh, I don't think, his ultimate goal. I'm sure he has much bigger goals than that. The son is suing the bank and others who manage the trust. The bank declined comment, but the son claims Posner was manipulated by her employees while battling the cancer that took her life. She was easily uh, inappropriately induced. The people that were there to take care of her, instead of taking care of her, took advantage of her. The battle in probate court could likely turn on medical records, but Adams predicts a settlement, saying the Florida law allowing trusts for pets hasn't been tested in court. Tony Winton, the Associated Press, Miami.